it saying? What are you seeing, huh, buddy? Oh, you lonesome. Lonesome. Ansel's a girl. Hello, sweetie. Hello, sweetie. Hello, sweet girl. I could take you home with me right now. Yes, I could. Who else do we have? Nina. I thought we were finished with deer flies.
It's been about six months since she's, she's gotten to be on the bed with me. It's time. So do I. Good afternoon. Down here at Otter Pond. A splendid summer day. Temperature is about 78. I've been to the field and back. Didn't find much to do over there. There's certainly no shade. And the sun has still got some weight to it. So I decided I'd come over here and sit and watch Otter Pond dry up. I'm watching a bubble, I guess it was. I'm still waiting to see a turtle head, but that wasn't. That was a bubble head. When I discovered Suki in the animal shelter, 2009, August. She had just arrived. The, the warden had picked her up in a public park in town, so they didn't know anything about her, but they have to hold on to her for 10 days, give the owners a chance to claim her. So I began reading up. She's a black, labish, looking dog. That's the first thing that came to my mind. That's the first thing that the animal shelter people said. So I began reading up on black labs. I wanted to learn more about their behavior, how they are, temperaments. Black labs and yellow labs are virtually identical except for the color of their skin or fur. Interesting to read that the author of the book talked about black dogs in general are widely feared as being mean and aggressive and scary, uh, where yellow labs are completely accepted by everybody as friendly and temperamental. No temperate. And I've been thinking about that. I thought about it a lot. Turned out she's maybe got a little bit of black lab. The vet I took her to on her first visit thought she had a little bit of border collie in her along with some lab. But he didn't know. You know really nobody knows. Uh, I was told a few years later by a, a lady who raises the dogs from London, that she had a lot of Saluki in her, which I maybe have talked about. I know I've talked about, but that was some time ago, a year, four years ago. So, Saluki is a racing dog, member of the Greyhound family. Well, that was interesting, and that I looked up Saluki. They look much different than Suki, but Suki has a narrow, a much narrower head than a typical lab. She has much narrower hips, a lot like greyhound and racing dogs. She's got a very deep chest, which is very helpful for a racing dog, large lung capacity. And she's got black fur. And isn't it tragic that a 
black lab is rejected out of hand by so many people as being a dangerous, mean, aggressive, outlaw dog where yellow labs aren't. And the only difference between the two is the color of their fur. They have the same genetics, exactly the same genetics. And black labs overall are found to be delightfully friendly and docile and willing to go along with the family. But if they're black, they've got a strike against them or a few strikes against them and they're not adopted. Doesn't that say a lot more about our society? I know people whose skin is black and our culture is steeped in that racist belief that black skin, just like black fur on a dog, is an indicator of sub-canine abilities and temperaments. <coughs> I'm sorry. Come back for a second load. Eep, eep. 